Hey yo! Welcome to the wonderful world of Hungry Heath. I am not a classically trained chef. What I am is a self-taught home cook. I have studied under several television chefs. I have a PhD from YouTube University and a black belt from Google Foo. Every Friday night, my wife and I, the sensational Shelly Eats Steak, we go live at 6.30 Central for what we like to call Hungry Heat's Friday Night Feast. We'll cook up an entree or maybe a snack or two, show you all how we do it, and then sit around and enjoy it with all of our friends. So I hope you all can tune in. Now years ago, we used to eat at this wonderful restaurant in Dallas, Texas called Breadwinners. And they had this very interesting dish and I wasn't too sure about it, but Shelly talked me into it, and boy was she right. It is chicken and waffles. Now that doesn't sound very bizarre to you, probably, but they put bacon and cheddar and jalapenos in the waffles. And then once it's plated up, they put cream gravy, maple syrup, and hot sauce on it. Y'all know I love hot sauce, so I had to try it. It was so good. Now today, I'm going to recreate that for y'all, but I'm going to keto fight it. So let's get started. So for this recipe, we're going to need a package of chicken tenders, some pork panko. Our seasoning is going to be equal parts salt, pepper, and garlic. So for the chaffle, the star of the show is going to be this savory chicken soup from my friends at Keto Chow. And then we're going to use some cheddar cheese, some bacon, and I'm going to dice up some jalapeno into it. And of course, I can't have a chaffle without eggs. And for that gravy, I'm going to be using my Parrot Head Renee recipe. If y'all go watch my business and gravy recipe, you can see how I'm going to do that. I'll have it linked down below. And then I'm going to be using the French Red Hot and the Lacanto Maple Syrup. And now y'all can use any hot sauce you want or any low carb keto style syrup you want. So let's get cooking. So we want to start off by cooking four pieces of bacon. Now I like to cut mine in half so that they fit in the skillet a little easier. One, I love that sound. Two, come here you slippery little thing. So that's actually two, because it's a half. I counted that wrong, folks. That'd be three. Oh, it just got me in the finger. I love bottle scars from the kitchen. All right, we'll be right back and I'll show you what's next. So let's start fixing this chicken. What I'm going to do is take one tender, dip it into this eggs that I've seasoned with a little bit of the salt, pepper, and garlic. I just flip it around inside of there. And I'm going to move it across to that pork panko. Now I have a entire package of that pork panko. I don't remember the exact... Uh, measurement on that i just know i opened the whole packet it was three ounces nice thank you ma'am now that's seasoned and covered now i'm going to load it up in my tray to go into my air fryer and then i'm just gonna rinse and repeat catch y'all in a minute all righty folks and y'all can see behind me i got my food quality chief sitting laying on the couch there <laughs> and uh y'all know i'm still glamping so i got a little redneck and brought over one of my wood uh, stands over here and a board to set up my air fryer here at the hotel. So now, as y'all know, <laughs> a country boy can survive. So now I'm gonna slide this in here, close the door, and I have it set to 400, and I'm gonna do it for about 10 minutes and then we'll check it. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to flip it and then cook it in another 10 minutes, but we'll see. 
See y'all in a minute. So now I'm gonna temp them just to see where I'm at. And it's reading 64 degrees, 67, 69. So I'm gonna do another eight minutes, roughly 10 minutes. And let it cook a little longer because finish temperature for chicken is 165 and nobody wants raw chicken. Oh, those look good. Ooh, that's hot. Oh, these are looking so good. They smell good too. These are gonna be amazing when we're done. Oh yeah, baby. All right, I got those flipped back into the air fryer. We're gonna do roughly another 10 minutes. I'm gonna do just under 10 and then we'll check them. Alrighty folks, let's start building our chaffles. Now for the complete recipe on this, you're gonna to wanna to visit the Keto Chow website. I'll have the link posted down below. We're gonna add the eggs to the bowl. And I believe that any flavor will work. And since we're doing chicken and waffles, I'm gonna use their savory chicken soup flavor. Just tear this open with my wet hands from the eggs. Borrow the knife. And add the whole bag. Then we're gonna whisk this, breaking the eggs into it, just combining it completely. I was trying to show y'all, but I don't want to spill it. <laughs> then next, we're going to add the cheese. Combine that, get everything out of there. And this is where their recipe differs, but we're going with the bread went away. I got that bacon we cooked earlier. I'm going to chop all that. Then chop a jalapeno too. Add that to it and I'll show you all that in a second. So we got this all mixed up and now we need to start adding that bacon. Remember this was four slices of bacon we fried up in a cast iron skillet. I'm sweeping it all in there and then I'll stir it all up. So I got that giant jalapeno all diced up. Now I'm going to add that to the batter. Now, if y'all have an aversion to heat, you can either do one of two things. Either skip the jalapeno altogether, or leave out the seeds and the membrane. But I love the heat. This spoon's not working very well, so I'm just gonna do it by hand too. I know it's kinda icky, but I wanna get this well incorporated. Alrighty, we already have our waffle iron on. Oh, look at that. So now I'm just gonna start spooning some on into each little quadrant. This is one of those standard four square waffle irons. And it's not gonna be like exactly perfect at first. I just gotta get it all on here and then I can just move it around as I need it. And I always like to put aluminum foil around it on the uh, countertop to catch any drips like you just saw me do. That's why I kept my gloves on too. But I think this mixture is gonna be perfect for making four waffles, two for me, two for my bride. Now I am cooking on a Belgium waffle maker and this made, this mixture anyways, made some really thick ones. So I'm going to close the lid and I'll just keep an eye on it and I'll flip it in a second if I need to. See y'all in a bit. Alrighty folks, looks like my normal philosophy of bigger is better kind of backfired on me. I sh looks like I should have only done half the mixture in here and maybe done eight waffles because She's oozing out on the sides. So what I'm gonna do is open it up. They're cooking, but I'm gonna take my spatula. They're still too soft. I was gonna flip them. We're gonna wait a minute, let them cook a little longer. 
So these waffles are looking perfect to me. I'm gonna flip them and see if I can get them a little more toasted. All right, we got them flipped. Now I'm just gonna close, they look pretty done to me. I'm just gonna close the lid and just hold it warm while Shelly finishes making up the gravy. And then we'll show y'all plating up in just a second. So I just cooked this chicken for another 10 minutes. Let's take a peek. Oh, that looks amazing. Let's go ahead and take a temperature on. Oh yeah. There she comes. 58, 61, 163, 64, 65. We're money. Let's get this plated up. Okay, so I'm helping Hungry Heath on plating this. So I'm going to take two of my waffles, put it on my plate here. Look at all those yummy jalapenos. So I'll set it like this. And then I'm going to take, probably since this is Heath's plate, four of the chicken tenders. Now when we ate them at Breadwinners, they actually put a huge chicken breast on um, the whole thing. Like it was like a monster chicken breast. So I'm doing four of these for him like that. Oh, that looks good. And then I'm going to take the Lacanto syrup. I'm going to start with a tablespoon and just kind of drizzle this over so that it goes over the chicken and the waffles. I'll do two for heat. This is a, a lot. So I want it to also get on that waffle because that's sweet with the spicy jalapenos. You want one more, babe? Or yeah! Okay, one more. You this is going to be so here. good. And then, all that syrup's getting nice into all the little crispy bits on the chicken. There we go. Okay, next, we're going to take Parrot Head Renee's gravy, which if you haven't seen the recipe on our biscuits and gravy, Oh my gosh, y'all need to watch that video. The Keto Chow Biscuits are amazing. Sure, everybody knows if you haven't done the Keto Chow Drop Biscuits, uh, you got to do that stat. So this is our homemade gravy. And I'm just going to drizzle this over the chicken. Look at that. Oh, doesn't that look good? You know, about four or five tablespoons, however gravy juiciness you want. I like to have enough that I know it's there. And of course, we want each of the chicken to have plenty of gravy. And that savoriness and fattiness of the gravy is going to be amazing when it mixes in with the maple syrup. Like... When we told some friends of ours about breadwinners and their uh, chicken and waffles, everybody was like, uh, no, we're not going to eat that. That sounds so weird. Gravy with syrup with hot sauce? Like, that doesn't even sound right. And I was like, trust me, this is delicious. And I said, uh, I originally take it heat there. I'd gone to breadwinners on a previous trip with my mom and I fell in love with the place. And then when Heath and I went up there to visit his cousin, I was like, we gotta go to this place. It's worth the wait. Like anytime you go on the weekend, it's like an hour wait, at least. And I said, it's well worth it. So we, you know, got there and I told him, you gotta order this. And he's like, well, I mean, it sounds good, but syrup and gravy, that sounds so weird. And I was like, trust me, you're gonna love it. And he ordered it and he fell in love. He was like, okay, this is the best thing ever. And then he, of course, uh, when we had some friends come through, we were like, okay, we got to go there. <laughs> so, last part is some Frank's Red Hot Sauce. 
course, you can use any hot sauce that you want. This is what we have here at our glamping place. So you're just going to do to your liking, which, you know, for heat, that's going to be a lot. <laughs> so I'm just going to drizzle that on there. And again, this adds some good vinegar spice to everything. And I'm telling you, all of these flavors together are going to be amazing. So that's it. Plate it up. And then we're going to get to tasting. All right. Now we're going to get to finally taste this amazing, amazing meal. And I want to go first with just the chaffle. Well. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That is amazing. So good. It's really close to what I remember. But it's been probably five, six years since we've been over there. I know. I would dream about this dish because it was so good. I think we made it one time at home pre-keto as a copycat, but this is this is amazing. So you like that? I'm going to yeah. do a total bite. So I've got my chicken. I've got a piece of the chocolate mm. with all those jalapenos, the gravy, the hot sauce, and a little bit of the syrup. I only did a tablespoon and a half of syrup on mine. Look how white that is. That's perfect. All right, I'm yes. going to try them all together. Mm. Oh, so good. So good. So I did the chaffle and then the chicken, and now I'm going to do it all. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, look at that. That's exactly how I remember. It's like an explosion of flavor in your mouth because you get that sweetness and then the fattiness from the gravy with a little bit of the cheese in there. And then you have that savory note. Mm -hmm. And then a little bit of the spice from the hot sauce where it's got that vinegar. And then the jalapeno adds a different type of spice element. Oh, it's so good. And then the crunchiness of the chicken with that pork panko yes. batter. It's perfect. It's perfect. And then the waffle it's kind of chewy in the middle. So it's like all of the different textures and It's the like flavors. a symphony in your mouth. Yeah. Thank you, Breadwinners, for this amazing combination. And yeah. thank you for letting us borrow off your ideas. This <laughs> is amazing. It's so good. I Please, please try this recipe yes. and tell us what you think of it. And make sure to go check out that uh, uh, biscuits and gravy recipe to get the Parrot Head uh, Renee's gravy recipe that stuff's yes. amazing too it's just perfect on this dish it's just oh, it's just primo yes i i love this dish it's so tasty it's so different it's such a rich decadent makes my heart sing perfect brunch right this yes it's like perfect for or a dinner Sunday breakfast brunch. for dinner is one of my favorite things too i'll eat this any day this is amazing but for a sunday brunch if you want to go all out this is the one to do. Yes, and I'm just amazed we were able to knock this out in this little bitty ki <laughs> kitchen. Uh, like, yeah, if we could do it here in the hotel kitchen, yeah. I know all of you can definitely recreate this. If you do, certainly tag the Hungry Heath on Instagram. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And don't y'all forget, also, make sure you tune in every Friday night for our Friday night feast. My compadre here and I will whip up something as amazing like we did here. And then we'll sit down and chew the fat with y'all. Mm -hmm. Thank y'all for watching. And make sure at least, also, please, hit that subscribe. The <laughs> hit the subscribe. I'm just so flabbergasted about how amazing this is. <laughs> the jalapeno got your tongue. Yeah. <laughs> but please subscribe. Please hit the like button. The more likes we get, the better results we are, and more people can find Heath and I's tasty recipes mm -hmm. and keto file. So we all know keto is really good. Let's spread the word and help it by liking this photo. Comment. Comments really help us. Tell us what do you think. What are your ideas about this? Right. Are you hesitant to try it? Are you excited to try it? 
will you try it? And so please comment below. It really, really helps us. And we love getting those notifications when we have comments on our videos. It really makes our day to read everybody's comments. This is really good, but I think it needs more jalapeno and more hot sauce. <laughs> Bring the fire! <laughs> Maybe Renee or Matreya will send you some ghost peppers. Oh, that'd be good. Hook a brother up. <laughs> Catch y'all on the next one. Thank you for watching. Bye!